Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another multiplayer FPS tutorial. Today we're going to cover switching weapons using the scroll wheel. So right now if we launch our game, you can see that we can press 1 and 2 to switch between weapons. In most games you can use the scroll wheel to switch between weapons, but right now we're completely unable to do that. Let's open up our player controller script here, and I'm going to scroll down to where we're doing the logic for switching weapons already, and I'm going to make a new if statement. If input.get axis raw mouse scroll wheel is greater than zero, then we will switch to the next weapon in our list. Mouse scroll wheel is an axis and that just detects the value of our scroll wheel. So if we're scrolling up, it'll be one. If we're scrolling down, it'll be negative one. And if we're not scrolling at all, it'll be zero. So if it's greater than zero, then it's gonna be up. So here we'll do the logic to equip the next item in our list. So we'll write equip item, item index plus one. Then we'll make another if function here, else if input dot get axis raw mouse scroll wheel is less than zero, then we will equip item item index minus one. So let's run our game now. So as you can see, we can scroll up and down to switch between our weapons, but if we scroll past the limit of our two weapons, then we're gonna get a ton of errors here. And that's because we're not looping it around. We're just continually scrolling and we're trying to select a weapon that doesn't exist. So if I keep scrolling here, it's gonna try to select weapon three and four, which we don't have. We only have two guns on our player here. So we're gonna have to make it wrap around with some extra code. So back in our player controller script, let's add a bit more logic here. I'm gonna check if the item index is greater or equal to the items list or the items array dot length minus one then we will equip the first item otherwise we'll just equip the next item in the array so this way if our item index is going to be bigger than what our list has then we'll just loop around to the first item and equip that and then when we're scrolling down we'll also have to add some logic here if item index is smaller or equal to zero so if the next time we scroll it's going to be negative one that's outside our list then we'll equip item items.length minus one instead and then otherwise we'll just equip the previous item so now if we head into unity you can see that we can scroll with our mouse wheel and we don't get any errors and we can scroll as much as we want and switch between the two items so that's all for this video i'll see you all next time thanks so much for watching Bye bye